Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for the week of uh, February 28th. Uh, we're going to jump right in here, Scorpio, and see what is going on for you at this time. Um, I'm not going to, I have a little bit of a time crunch this week, so we're not going to do um, two parts this week, but um, we're just going to clarify in this reading, and that will be that. So, Scorpio, let's see here. Uh, what is going on for you? It's like some sort of, you know, <laughs> I would call this a releasing. Um, you know, it's interesting to have, you have in the center here, the tower and the two of pentacles curveball. It's like every single reading I do for you lately for like the past, I don't know, six months or something <laughs> has had the tower in it. Um, again, we're going to clarify through here, but what's, um, you know, once we clear, do all this, but uh, it's interesting going, You these two cards want to come out together, tower, two of pentacles to the ace of swords. It's like, uh, mm, this is like needing to rebuild after a tower moment or needing to let go of a tower moment. You also have the flamingo spirit, which says embrace the in-between, and it came out with that rhino spirit, which says overcome any obstacle. So it's like, you're in some sort of like in-between world. Um, the, the reason also I feel this is you have this message in a bottle card I kind of feel like you're you're lacking critical information here, <laughs> Scorpio, on something that you're trying to improve in your life. Uh, it could be your love life uh, for some of you. For a lot of you, I feel like it's your finances in general. This reading is just like, I, I, this is one of those that's like pouring right through me here, Scorpio, just plain and simple. I feel for a lot of you, it's like your financial life, but also your independence in general. Nine of Pentacles, center card, uh, to me the center card is usually the most important card in the reading. I, I say it's not always true because sometimes intuitively, you know, I read intuitively and sometimes I feel like it's another card, but uh, I definitely feel that Nine of Pentacles is the focus of the reading and I feel like it's saying that's what's important to you right now. Uh, I feel like this is almost like a recipe <laughs> is how this is popping into my head. I just feel like there's a need to kind of like learn from another situation or something like that. I kind of see you like adding to yourself, but it's almost like imagine if your body was like a tool belt, you know, I feel like you're adding these tools that are kind of making life maybe not easier, but you know, kind of easier in a sense. It's more like, you know, one of my favorite people of all time, Les Brown, he says, you shouldn't wish for things to get easier. You should wish to get better. And, um, you know, that's kind of like what I feel here. Uh, in this reading. I feel like you're kind of like becoming better. It's like, you know, we're always going to have obstacles. We're always going to have things that we have to deal with. So it's like, why not become stronger? Why not become better and be able to handle them and be able to deal with them, right? Um, I always tell people, I love big problems. I love having big problems. If you have big problems, usually you, you attract big solutions, right? Uh, but not only that, it's like, you know, if you want to become successful, it's like successful people have bigger problems. They don't have smaller problems, right? Um, things don't get easier for them. Things get harder. And uh, that's kind of like what I see here for you in this reading. Um, it's kind of like maybe a mindset shift where maybe you're realizing that. Maybe you're realizing that you just want to become better. And that's kind of like what I get here. Uh, in your first row, you have the Seven of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and the Eight of Swords. Uh, funny enough, I read the Queen of Cups as you. I know a lot of people read her as Cancer, but uh, to me, it's your energy, the Queen of Cups. So uh, I like that. She really values her emotions uh, so much so that she like stares at that cup there, and it looks like a trophy. It doesn't really look like a cup. So to me, it says that she really, really values her emotions on a, on a very deep level. She doesn't just care about her emotions. She like deeply cares about how she feels about things. Uh, the Seven of Swords, number one, I feel could be you needing to just learn how to do things a different way. Uh, kind of, this is kind of reminding me of the energy of like, sometimes I think we just don't know how to do things. <laughs> sometimes we're just maybe we just aren't we just aren't aware that things could be easier or better or things could be done differently and the seven of swords is kind of like a card of lying cheating stealing but i don't really see this as a love reading for you he's carrying these swords away from this army that's in the background there and it represents the fact that he's not going to war with the army he is stealing their swords so they can't be used against him the next day in battle so it's like he's going to war in a different way and 
you have this eight of swords here. Eight of swords is like only seeing one way of doing things. On a very simple level, uh, the eight of swords can just represent l only seeing one solution to a problem when there are many, right? She's keeping herself stuck because she isn't opening up to other solutions. So I feel like this is saying it's time to kind of like o open up to new solutions, but usually we have to uh, learn. Uh, with the seven of swords, he has these polka dots all over his cloak. And the polka dots in the tarot represent needing to not take things too seriously. Um, it kind of reminds me of a couple things. Number one, there are like a lot of problems that I had <laughs> years ago. And it's like looking back, they were like this, they were like this big, right? But at the time I made these problems like this big. And so sometimes I feel like the Seven of Swords says like, you know, you could be making a mountain out of a molehill, make sure you're not doing that. Uh, it also represents sometimes that, you know, a solution might not be, maybe it's not as fancy as you think. Like imagine if you had a big problem, you know, a big, huge problem, and someone came to you and said, well, it's this easy to solve it. You might be saying, no, this huge problem can't be solved that easily, right? So the Seven of Swords asks us, you know, polka dots in the tarot represent needing to be playful. And they say, if you have a problem, just try things, you know, try something new. Even if it doesn't seem like something that would work, uh, you never know. Sometimes those are exactly the things that do work, right? Uh, next, you have this Dancing in the Rainbow card. It says, break free from whatever you feel is holding you back. There you go. Express happiness. Find out what you truly desire. Um, part of the problem could be if you're creating resistance, maybe you don't understand like what you truly desire to have in your life. I do feel like this is kind of like a hard thing to understand right now, uh, mostly because I feel the astrology and I do feel we need to kind of realign with our values. We need to figure out what makes us happy, what makes us feel motivated, what makes us feel like we want to get up and go in the morning. Uh, in this row, you have the Tower, the Two of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. Um, definitely major rite of passage energy. Again, Tower. It's like you've been through a tower situation. Six of Swords is moving on to calmer shores, but these people are still in the choppy waters right here. They are also leaving everything behind. Again, Six of Swords is a significant transition. It is not just a tiny little change. The mother and her child, they have completely left everything behind. Everything they own, the people that they knew, everything in their past life. So it's like a significant transformation. It's not just like a tiny little thing with the Six of Swords. So I feel like for some of you, it's like you could be uh, kind of making a sacrifice, Ace of Swords, Tower, not really, you know, I wouldn't really call it a sacrifice, but you know, you could be leaving things behind uh, for the hope of improvements. Again, I feel like your main focus is Nine of Pentacles. Uh, she is truly independent. She has three pentacles over here, six over here. She's willing to give those three pentacles right here to any situation, but she always keeps six for herself. She makes sure that she always has enough for herself and, and then some. Uh, and she also kind of represents focus as well. I kind of feel like you're looking for something to focus on, mostly because of this right here, Seven of Swords, Nine of, Pen uh, Nine of Pentacles to the Ace of Pentacles. Mm, sometimes I feel like maybe if we've been like scattered for a long time, or if we haven't been very focused, we kind of come back to wanting to focus on like one project, one business, one relationship, something like that. And I kind of feel that energy for you here. Uh, you do have the tower in this uh, Two of Pentacles. Again, Two of Pentacles is a card of needing to not take things too seriously. Uh, two of Pentacles is a card of work hard, play hard. So, two, you know, Two of Pentacles says we need to work hard and play hard. The tower, the tower is falling because, you know, those people have been ignoring reality for too long. So the tower falls when we ignore reality. They've built those walls up around them to protect themselves from reality. And that's why the tower falls in the first place. Um, I always say, to me, the tower is a good card. I don't care what anyone says. It's like, yeah, um, a tower moment might suck. You know, it might not be the best thing in the world. But at the same time, it's uh, extremely necessary to break us out of stuck patterns. Eight of swords, energy, right? It's there to set us free. Uh, next you have the flamingo spirit and the rhino spirit. The flamingo says embrace the in-between. The rhino says you can overcome any obstacle. Uh, again, I feel like you are becoming better. The flamingo says, I, I like the flamingo. It says you're going through the transition. Again, you're clearly in the in-between time, the in-between zone, whatever you want to call it here, Scorpio. But I feel like this in-between time is going to be very beneficial for you. Uh, you have the Ace of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles here. The two aces, number one. Uh, to me, two aces is a definite yes to anything that I haven't answered. I feel like this Knight of Pentacles is saying, it's time to get started. He has these empty fields behind him, 
and he's like being too cautious he's he's worried he's too worried about like you know what could happen what should happen he's he's kind of like overthinking things and he he knows everything he needs to know he has this these uh green leaves on his helmet they represent oak leaves and they represent the fact that he knows everything he needs to know he understands exactly what he needs to do to be successful at this time of his life but he just needs to do it uh, the Ace of Pentacles, I feel, is like the new opportunity that you've been waiting for. I kind of feel like saying this opportunity will blow you away. So uh, I really like this. Um, I feel like, you know, I, I think you're like the only sign that, I've, except for maybe Aries as well. I definitely feel like you two are in this stage of life where it's almost like everything you've learned up until this point has been training. And I'm pretty sure I said this to you in your last reading. And it's like now it's like, yeah, you might be moving away from a business, for example. Maybe you had a business. Maybe now you're starting another business, but you kind of feel like you're sacrificing the last one. I don't think that's what's going on at all. I think you are starting from a place of wisdom, knowledge. You're, you, you might be starting over. You might feel like you're starting over. You might feel like you've made a sacrifice, but I feel like you're starting from a much, much better place than the first time. I always tell people, it's like I've had several businesses in my day. Yes, I, you know, I know I look like a child, a, a 12-year-old, right? But, um, I've had many businesses, I've worked in businesses, I've worked with businesses uh, as a consultant as well. And, um, you know, it's like uh, me personally, it's like there have been every single time I've had a failure in business, it's like I've always started over 10 times faster, right? The next one. So it's like you're never starting from zero. Uh, same thing in relationships as well. I've experienced this. It's like each one gets easier, um, you know, to start, to deal with, to go through, all that. So I feel like you're not starting from scratch. You're starting from a place of wisdom and knowledge. And look, you have the Ace of Swords. I almost feel like that sword is something that you're about, I mean, the uh, the crown here is something that you're about to gain, you know? It, it's kind of weird because that's not really what the crown means on the Ace of Swords, um, but I do feel like the crown is something that you are about to take, you know? And I feel like it's going to be through starting something new or kind of like starting over. So it's like you are starting from scratch. I feel like you've already been through the tower moment, so you probably already understand this on a very deep level. Um, but let's see what we can learn here. Uh, with the Seven of Swords and the Two of Pentacles and the Tower, you have the Judgment card. This is, to me, the most powerful combination in the tarot um, when we get the Tower and the Judgment card together. To me, it is like a major wake-up call, a major revelation, a major understanding. It's like a huge um, you know, kind of revelation. So I feel like that's what you could be having at this time. With the Queen of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles, you have the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is about being bold and assertive, really going for what you want, Scorpio. So I feel like it's time for you to be bold, be assertive, <laughs> really go for what you want. At this time, you will be successful. Uh, with the Eight of Swords and the Six of Swords, you have the Empress. Damn, love it. Definitely a lot of abundance coming in for you. Uh, love it. Uh, so I feel like making this transition, you know, starting from scratch. What you know, even though you're not starting from scratch, it's gonna. There's like so much more abundance on the other side. You know, sometimes it's like I think we can hold on to something uh, that is like worthless, that is nothing. Uh, in you know, not grab on to something that's much more valuable. And that's kind of how I'm seeing this reading. It's like. You might be holding on to something that has very little value, and what you're about to grab onto has much, much more value, you know? Uh, that's kind of how I'm seeing this reading. Uh, let's see. Uh, with the Two of Pentacles in the Tower and the Ace of Swords, you have the Three of Wands. What are you waiting for? Three of Wands is like waiting for the perfect moment when there never will be a perfect moment. Three of Wands wants us to take a leap of faith, wants us to kind of get out and swim to those boats and take action. So I feel like it's time for action. Uh, with the Nine of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles, you have the Five of Swords. I feel like this is just saying it's time to separate away from something from the past, whatever this is that's been holding you back. Uh, with the Six of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles, you have the Ace of Cups, three aces in this reading. Really nice. Uh, I feel like you're going to be very happy by that uh, Ace of Pentacles. I really see this as like a big opportunity that's coming in for you. And like I said, I feel like you need to realize that you're not starting from scratch uh, with this opportunity. Uh, with your top row outcome, you have the moon. Uh, the moon, I do feel, you know, it's like we are in a moon period is what I would say. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know how else to say it. I think like the next until 2025 is a moon period. Uh, a moon period to me is a period of time of innovation, trying new things. The moon, it's like there's no clarity on maybe the direction we're supposed to go in, the things that we're supposed to do. I think that's why things feel a little bit risky right now. 
Uh, who's going to be successful during these moon periods? The people that take the risks, um, you know, the people that come up with new ideas, the keep people that come up with new plans, new ways of doing things, new ways of living life. What does that look like? I have no freaking clue, right? Uh, I don't know. We're, we're going to have to figure it out. <laughs> so I feel like the people who uh, kind of are comfortable in the darkness, you're a Scorpio, you know, you should be comfortable in the dark, right? And I feel like, you know, anything, any new ideas, any crazy ideas you have uh, would be very beneficial at this time. I keep preaching this stuff because it's like the most important thing that we could be doing right now is like innovating, trying new ways of dating if we want love, new ways of, uh, you know, being together if we want love. Uh, maybe that's not marriage. Maybe that's something else, right? Uh, same thing with business. It's like in also work and like certain rules. I have like a million questions popping into my head with that moon card. And so I feel like this is kind of like a moon period for you. Uh, what I will say is that, you know, the moon, there is there are some mountains in the background here. They're going to be very hard to see on this small card. But the moon just says, it doesn't say stop. It says keep working towards your goals and you will be successful. And it's not, and by the way, it's not going to take until 2025 for you to be successful if you put this stuff into action. You're going to be successful now, uh, is what I would say there. Uh, next, you have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, about to, definitely everything says that you're about to put a burden down. Um, even the Six of Swords, like you're about to get to the other side. Ten of Wands, he's about to reach this village. He's about to release his burdens. So I feel like you are about to release your burdens here. And uh, bottom row, you have the <laughs> you have the Ten of Swords and the Tower in reverse. It is definitely time. Uh, I do not think that's a good thing, by the way, Tower in reverse, because to me, Tower in reverse can they could still be holding on to the old way of life. So to me, this is saying the past is dead, done, over with. Now it's time to start something new. I feel like there's a really big new opportunity coming in for you with that Ace of Pentacles. I would jump on it, uh, is what I would say to you. I also feel with the it's interesting because with the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. I'm getting something about like future investment. Um, but I feel like this is saying like if you invest some time into a project, it's like as long as you keep working on it, I feel like it's almost like you're going to be making more and more and more. That's how I'm seeing it in my head. It's kind of weird. It's like the energy you put in now is going to benefit you in the future, but it's almost like compounding. Uh, very weird. Uh, same thing in love as well. It's like some of you, I feel, could be getting into something with a person. Probably not right now. feels like March to me. Knight of Pentacles could be an earth sign. And it feels like a compounding relationship <laughs> where it's like maybe the person you're dealing with a person who's busy. Maybe you're dealing with a person who doesn't have a lot of time. But it's like all the time you do spend with the person, it's like compounding. It's like getting better. Very weird. Uh, I like this for you. I think this is a positive change. So thank you for being here, Scorpio. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But uh, thank you and definitely enjoy your week.